My name is Sienda and today I want to talk about uh, the hashtag that I started last night called If Africa Was A Bar. And before I begin, I know it should be If Africa Were A Bar, but I only had so many characters in the tweet. Uh, anyway, so If Africa Was A Bar was supposed to be a hashtag where everybody kind of imagined what bar patron that country would be and how they would behave in a bar. So that's how it started. Almost in the tradition of hashtags that I have always enjoyed participating in, especially where we as Africans um, participate in any kind of media about ourselves and talk about each other and in a light-hearted, not hateful, not like angry type of way. And so because I, I do really, really believe in Pan-Africanism and I don't think it's an idea that is dead or an idea that should remain in the 60s where you know we had idealistic leaders and we had idealistic people some who were assassinated and some who kind of abandoned those beliefs so some people that tried to carry them through and they didn't really work out and that doesn't mean that that should be the end of pan-africanism so what i've always tried to do with my twitter account and with social media in general is because i have is, is trying to travel around africa through the perceptions of other africans as much as possible and through the perspectives of other Africans as much as I can um, without having to leave my country. <laughs> so um, hashtags like if Africa was a bar give us an opportunity to kind of lightheartedly take part in our own um, humor and our own entertainment while also being educational. And it gives other people an opportunity to see what others think of their country and to tell us what we, so we can also tell them what we think of their country. So, you know, you learn a lot of things if you really look at these types of um, Twitter engagements and start to ask yourself questions like why is, you know, for example, Egypt always the one that's sitting by itself and everybody's jokes about Egypt and, you know, what perceptions do people have about your country? Why, why do people think that Swaziland is an underaged girl and, you know, all these types of things. So it's just little jokes that you end up uh, wanting to learn more about. And as a result, we learn more about each other. For example, I learned the term second generation uh, alcohol, which means apparently in East African slang, it means um, illicit brew or something like that. So I thought that was really funny. And I learned a lot about uh, beers that are available in other African countries. I learned a lot about drinking culture in other countries. I learned a lot. Um, and other people learned too. I took a picture of Chibuku, which is what is drank, I think, in Botswana, um, which is like a traditional type of um, corn-based beer, but it's made in a tetra pack. So, like, so, so some Kenyan people were interested in that, in the packaging of the uh, traditional beer and didn't know that um, there's alcohol available in Southern Africa that is in these types of like bio um, safety, whatever, packaging, I think. So yeah, that was also weird. like especially interesting um, to hear the jokes about Kenya and Nigeria and South Africa because they were so varied and so different from everybody, but it all kind of showed our perceptions of those three big countries. And it was also funny to hear all the Botswana jokes, which were as usual about uh, livestock and donkeys and us being like basically rural farmers forever or whatever. So that was also really funny. But you see, these types of hashtags also give us an opportunity to teach each other um, about our countries. Like, for example, there was a really funny picture. I think it's from a Kevin Hart movie or something. So he's the picture's like some guy on some big lady's back or something and someone captions that it's how gambia uh the gambian relationship with senegal um about how senegal is the big fat girlfriend who's always protecting gambia or something and i had no idea um that that was the kind of geopolitical situation in that area um there's so much that you learn you learn about rwanda's perception of itself as well in its area and the continent you learn about what people from congo perceive that country to be like so, you know, these types of hashtags, these types of like social media movements or whatever you'd like to call them, give us an opportunity to not only learn, but to also teach others about ourselves and for Africans to learn as much as they can about each other, which is so necessary for Pan-Africanism and for um, unity and growth and all these other things. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I've tried to make it as short as possible. My name is Sianda. Follow me on Twitter at Sianda Writes and please subscribe to my website sianderwrites.com. Thank you. Bye.